Now to hockey. The Minot Magicians are at home for the second straight game after Saturday afternoon as they host Devils Lake. But it would be the Firebirds who heated up the ice on with their offense. Kylie Kemsarud drives and puts the puck in the back of the net. One nothing. Birds and Devils Lake not done yet. Ellie Black gets a shot. Somehow trickles by for the goal. Firebirds up quick, 2-0. Minot needing an answer. Abby Tallman shoots in traffic, but saved by Molly Black. Minot falls at home in this one, 6-2. Moving up to college hockey, you marry in Dakota College of Botano. Marauders leading 6-1. Things getting chippy in the second. Big time check. That would lead to a roughing penalty on Botano, so you Mary would be back on the power play and would lead to an awesome effort by Cody Shepard. Backhand. Far side, 7-1 Marauders at that point, and they get the win, 9-1. Up north, the Minot State women taking on Minnesota, the Gophers. First period action, Beavers driving when Megan Ferg passes it. Jensen Smigiski, and she puts it in the back of the net. Beavers up 1-0. And then a few possessions later, Gophers driving with Taylor Haynes. Shoots, but a nice save by Beavers' Jordan Ivanko. Minot gets a 4-0 win. And a junior hockey, Montatoro's hosting the Bobcats off of a win last night. First period, Montatoro's driving when Kay Delson takes the rebound and shoots it by cop by the goalie there. And then a few possession later, Bobcats in traffic. Adam Stocko gets the goal and the 1 0 lead for the Bobcats. But it's Minot who takes it 2 1. And I just wanted to make a shout out to Grant County's Ethan Hoffman. A great week for him in basketball, scoring 28 against Mount Region, 27 against Solon last night. Great job by him. That's tough to do in this level.